hello hi everyone i am vara prasad okay uh, this video will discuss about some uh, salesforce lightning concepts like uh, how we will use uh, if conditions in uh, salesforce lightning or a component okay uh, in the last video we have discussed about uh, like uh, how we will create attributes how we can use these attributes in um, how we can refer that attributes in the a code and all those things we can see here right so now in this uh, video uh, i will explain you how we can create uh, if conditions in the component how we can display the results based on that conditions okay and before that already i have uploaded some videos related to the salesforce lightning and just you can search with the salesforce start uh, this is my channel name so that you can find the, all the videos related to the inter light, uh, lightning videos and i have uploaded some uh, real time interview questions uh, these are these questions only nowadays uh, in uh, every interview you are asking so even if you are preparing for interview these videos will help you just watch these videos so that uh, you can um, easily get, uh, you can crack your interview easily okay and if you like these videos please subscribe my channel so you can see subscribe link also available there if any comments is there please provide any comments also okay thanks guys and uh, now uh, i will show you like how we will create uh, if conditions and all those things in the lightning or a component using or uh, or a component okay um for example if you want to create components and all just um if you want to create new component just click on new and click on uh, lightning component here i will give if condition example okay so how we will use up condition all those things just give same name and uh, we'll see these uh, bundle uh, conversions later just click on submit button so our component is created so this one is application this is old component just i'm um, uh, removing that component so here i will give our component details here in the comment section so that it will be easy for me component name equal to okay so this is component so we'll check how we can use uh, if conditions and all those things for example i will create a two sample uh, data type string one and uh, our attribute name equal to i'm giving employee name and this uh, data type equal to string okay and uh, default value i'll give some default value here default value equal to just uh, give john and so our data type is ready here so i will add one more component here just so here i will give employee age or employee married like that so employee married if employee is married um, this is boolean right so i will give boolean value here so if married true otherwise it is false by default i will give true or false anything so i will give false so these are the attributes okay so just click on save button so now using this um, boolean variable how we will create if condition i will show you just giving um if example so if you want to use if components in uh, ara components in the component if you want to use if condition so for example uh, generally we will use if we like this only if example take this is the normal uh, will use in any code either java or apex anywhere suppose i will give um boolean married so i will give married equal to true 
so he is married already so that if 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 married it is true then i will print something like this here system dot debug so here i will give like this john is married else we'll give some other condition john is single so like this we can give right in normal code uh, even java c everywhere so if we we'll, if you want to implement same functionality in the ara component how we will implement this functionality we'll, i will show you okay so if you want to use if condition then uh, ara ara framework provide the ara if com, uh, if component just ara if this is is true like uh, whatever the condition is there it will check here for example it is here how we are uh, if married equal to true then it will print so like that here if we will check here or uh, if is true equal to okay is true then we are closing or if condition here okay okay so if employee is married so i want to print something here so if you want to use that expression then in the last video we discussed right how we can use the expressions and all those things if you want to call this variable then just v dot or i'll give employee instead of employee married i will give is married so employee is married if is employee is married so i will print something here okay so if he is married means he is a major okay i will give i will print something like employee is a major okay and um, i will print employee name here so just reference variables v dot employee name just click on save button okay this is just this is a normal if uh, tag here only so if first it will so once component is loaded just first it will uh, uh, component uh, <clears throat> once component is loaded in the lightning uh, application so some default value we are assigning here employee name equal to john and uh, employee is married is equal to false so means john is not married so if it is married then only it will print the va value now currently value is false so that we will check if, uh, if uh, like this value is printing or not this condition is true or not so now we will show you in the application so if you want to refer if you want to call this component just we need to create application or you can use any other also no problem just i am commenting old one otherwise i will use i will rename this one just click on save button please include error if id you cannot contact so component click on save button fail to save lighting app and explain the code please include this error id if we can can't our support if condition example this is component name so i'm giving this name Just like this, click on save button. Why it is not saving? Fail to save. Varam lightning error. Error or varam attribute name info. Attribute admin tab C must be followed by the cat or so on. Okay. So we need to use the um, yeah, colon instead of dot. Just click save button and just click on update update preview button. so i think this is uh, nothing is there because of uh, our condition is false so i will do something i will write something here in the paragraph employee employee details 
okay if this condition is true then only this data will print otherwise only uh, this paragraph only available in the component again i will click on update to you so it is showing only empty details it is not showing the inside the if condition because we that married here we are giving default value equal to false so if you want if you this is, this is true this is married is true then only it will print the data so i will convert this default value instead of false to true just click on save button so we will click on update preview so now we will show that like it will show employee is a major name equal to john okay this is only if condition even if you if suppose if condition is failed then we need to execute some else condition so that if you want to like set else condition in ara we have like ara set ara set attribute equal to else okay if if condition is true it will execute this code else it will execute the else code uh, for example i will instead of major i will give employee is a minor so i will give false here so i will give false here okay so now uh, employee john is uh married means it is not married so he is not married means we need it will print the employee is a manager employee is a manner and his name is like this okay so just click the save button and uh, uh click on update preview so now you can observe here employee is a manner so like this because uh employee is uh, not married if he is married then it will print the employee is a major this data it will print so i am giving true just i will replace this page now it will show the employee is a major and employee is a john okay uh, similarly we can do uh, even if you want to use some uh, uh, like if conditions terminated operation and all those things we can use all those things also okay uh, for example instead of a uh, like boolean will create some integer and all those things we will see how we will it will implement uh, um so i will create a employee h here so this is integer default value will give something to well okay so for example if uh, employee uh, age is uh, like uh, uh, about 25 is a major if employee is below 25 we can consider as a minor so i will implement that function also now how we will implement that function also? okay uh, if employee h if employee h um if employee h okay if employee h e i will do one thing if employee h the greater than equal to 25 is the major okay then true i'll print this data else false say l say l as if false okay if employee age is uh, more than 25 then it is a major it is true then it will print this data if employee is uh, age is uh, like uh, uh, less than 25 is a major is a minor so i will do this one same code so i will give 12 12 means is a may is a minor now the uh, like uh, first it will check the if condition if employee is 12 uh, means um condition is false it will execute the false condition means false means else condition so we'll see now uh, just replace this page 
instead of majors, we'll see the M is a minor here. See, you can observe here. If you specify more than 25, for example, I will specify 30, default age. So now it will print the employee is a major. So even you can add more tags, no problem. Um, employee is a major, employee name, and you can add another uh, employee name and age also here, for example. Uh, I will add employee age also here. Um, age equal to plus just v dot employee edge just click save button okay now just refresh it will print the major and his age also so you can observe here employee is a major name john is equal to 30. so like that we can implement uh, if condition based on our requirement uh, equal requirement like uh, checking a uh, integer values boolean values even you can check string name also if string name equal to contains like that you can check you can print the data okay uh, this is all about if conditions and other things the next uh, video i uh, will explain you uh, like uh, for loops uh, like in the component for loops means r iterator tag is there i will explain you that tags and the other concepts and all those things okay and uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel and uh, next week i will come up uh, i will explain you some new concepts and uh, all those things okay uh, and even if you are if you are interested to learn salesforce like uh, any concepts like uh, admin and if you are looking for the salesforce admin and developer training i'm uh, i will help you and even i will provide you training also online training if you are interested just uh, whatsapp me this number uh, so that i will uh, uh, touch with you so that we can discuss further and i will provide you training and even I will help you in the interview process also, like how we can easily crack interview and all those things. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, watching my, this video. Just uh, if you like this video, just subscribe and share to your friends so that they can uh, get, they can learn some uh, lightning basics and all those things. Have a good day. And we'll uh, see, uh, see you next week. Bye.